Hi all, welcome to the blending mode class here at Hummies World. And uh, we are going through the blending modes from top to bottom. And um, we've come all the way down to a new section. This is the invert section. Um, we've had a lot of fun in these sections and this one's going to get a little bit interesting. Um, invert uh, basically means uh, to um, find the color directly opposite on the color wheel. Now when we're blending images a lot of times that's not what we want to do. <laughs> we like our original image and so we really have to think outside the box to make these work. Um, and uh, get your artistic gear going. Um, let me show you, we have this green color that we've been working with, and let me show you what invert does. If you just press Control i you find that the direct opposite color of that green on the color wheel is this purple. And um, both colors are pleasant. Control i for invert. And so this is the invert section. So we're going to be finding colors and trying to work with colors directly opposite on the color wheel. Now sometimes this is very useful, sometimes a little struggle. Um, here's the math. As with all of them, we've said this is all about the math. Uh, the difference blending mode subtracts the top layer from the bottom layer or the other way around. It, has, it picks one or the other. Um, depending on and to always get the positive value. Um, so uh, I suppose if it gets uh, less than zero, it's not going to do that one. It's going to choose the other one to get more than zero. And we know zero is black. So um, blending with black makes no change. Now you'll remember um, that the darken set also had a black with no change. And so if you really want to use this difference blending mode, keep that in mind that um, a texture with um, a lot of black uh, is uh, going to work well because it, the black areas are going to make no change. And I did play with the, that concept and I did find um, some textures that were kind of cool for my image and I was able to put that on there and lower the opacity and only the white spots kind of made like a film over the image. But I said well that's boring and I want to stretch their imaginations. So let's look at my, oh well before we do that, sorry we forgot to look at this. This is our graphic. It's getting ahead of myself. And um, here is the difference blending mode. So you see uh, it's not making any change to the green on the black. And it's making it just slightly darker, all on the dark side. Uh, but on the white side, it's changing it to the inverted color of uh, the purple from a darker range to a lighter range. So it's inverting on the on the lighter end if the top is lighter it's inverting the color of the layer below it. If it's darker it's keeping the color of the layer below but it's uh, um, sometimes making it a bit darker. So it's a little bit of a twist, a little little difficult to work with, um, unless you're using that all black or all white um, textures. But as I was saying, I want to get you to get your artistic gear going. And here is what I came up with. I decided um, to use a texture. And remember, we're all using the same texture and we're all using the same uh, blending mode and you can uh, download the texture on this uh, guides page 
and come and join us and share what you do and that way we all get to see what kind of cool things people come up with but I decided I wanted to go for that you know artsy feel that I was saying I didn't like in the art mix uh, lesson um, but I ended up let's go um, dissect this I keep saying that deconstruct is the better word we're not really dissecting it uh, like like an insect in in biology class in seventh grade but <laughs> here's my image um, that I took uh, in Hawaii um, with my uh, I think I used my point-and-shoot camera or, or my no I think actually this came off of my phone with the HDR I was playing with on my phone I really don't remember um, but it's kind of a cool image and um, here is the uh, texture let me uh, it's actually quite a yummy texture um, I really love it and uh, I actually had a sunrise image underneath it that was working really well with it and made a more pleasant um, uh, result pleasant to my eye but I um, uh, thought when I blended it with this other photo go back to the difference I could see the mountainside that kind of went with my text uh, you know people uh, climbing the mountain um, of life and they can you know they don't have the best of everything but they're going to make the best of everything and I kind of liked how you know that was evoking what the message was saying a little bit more than uh, the sunrise one which was very pleasant to the eye so I thought hey you know I'm gonna give them this texture because I blended it with about five different photos and got five different effects but all were kind of cool um, and uh, I thought well I'll let them uh, come out with that other pleasant one that I did I had with their with their photos um, because of this texture having all this yumminess around the edges and whatnot um, it already kind of uh, grounds everything uh, nicely and I thought to myself that I didn't really it was making a photo of its own I didn't really need uh, to put the edgers and things like that that I was doing before because it's kind of standing as its own but I did go ahead and I played around a little bit um, and I added this brightness and contrast so to do that you just go to your adjustment layers add brightness and contrast and now remember um, that over here uh, the uh, it does try to get the positive value uh, so light does make a difference and so I tried um, you know I just wanted the brightness to uh, be below so it's affecting just the bottom layer or I could group them if I needed to but just the bottom layer which is my photo and I changed the brightness and so you see if I go up on the brightness how it's changing uh, whoops I wanted that over here how it's changing uh, the image and even that's kind of cool it, it really made a huge difference on which uh, layers colors it decided to bring in and and that looks like somebody did something really artistic with paint uh, and if we go the other way um, which is the way I went I felt that this kind of uh, brought my image together a little bit more without so many confusing colors it down here in the bottom I got more of the white from the texture and uh, I could go all the way up and that felt kind of yummy but then I kind of lost the mountain feel so I'm going to delete that and go back and show you my original and that's where I stopped uh, just enough to bring in some white uh, to take out some of that uh, those other colors that um, were coming through from these lighter trees I was uh, going down to make them a little bit darker 
Um, I'm sure you could use some other adjustment layers uh, such as well curves in the full version or exposure um, levels. Uh, all versions have levels so I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, so you know grabbing this one and moving it down is making things uh, darker and changing things. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. See, you just have to keep playing. I may end up finding something I like better, but that takes away the mountain um, aspect of it, but that is awfully cool. I really like the way that looks. Or we could go the other way. And uh, now that's kind of cool because it's still kind of has a mountain feel to it <coughs> and uh, kind of a sunrise over the mountain you know so you just have to play uh, playing's fun you know I'm gonna grab this other slider and see what it does so um, yeah I gave you this one. Ooh, there we go this is uh, giving a really cool mountain feel with the blue I like this maybe I'll change my mind <laughs> I like this one because see this blue is coming in down here and um, it's kind of tying together the blue here and the blue up here it's uh, you know when you talk about colors you want a rule of thirds you want your color in at least three places and so having this blue coming in here on the mountain um, uh, leads the eye from top to bottom and kind of ties it all together and kind of makes it like you know a sunrise so I I may end up using this one I kind of like it so there's this one playing with the levels and there's this one just uh, changing the brightness and I tell you what I think I'm gonna go with this one still gives the mountain feel but ties the image kind of all together <sighs> see how it happens if you don't like it just keep playing and something will go ooh that's it um, and uh, you know we still have the grunginess coming around the edges um, at least two of the edges well three and uh, so I don't feel like I need to add any um, edging or anything else to tie it together there, you watched magic happen before your eyes. So go make magic happen before your eyes in your own program and share with us using the same textures and the same um, blending difference mode. Uh, remember, you can blend your text um, with the difference blending mode. Um, and uh, any other things that we have done in previous lessons, any other ideas that we've, we've shown, and go and have fun.